So I always end up going back to the stock channel EQ and logic. And this is why. What's up, people? Welcome to the channel where we talk about music licensing, music business, and music production. If you love any of the previously mentioned, be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all my latest content and hit that bell icon so you'll know exactly when that new content drops. So I want to talk about channel EQ and why I use this EQ more than any other EQ I've paid money for from a third party. I don't know like it just works so i'm gonna open up this session and i'm gonna show you some things that i love about channel eq because honestly like i've said before logic has some really good stock plugins so let's dig into it okay so i have a session here and the first thing that i really really love about the channel eq in logic is that logic actually makes it super easy to use it so all i have to do is double click into this eq thumbnail and then it pops up that's like reason that's like the main reason i always use it because i can double click in a space and it just opens the convenience of it is just amazing but not only that the dope thing about channel eq is that it shows you like literally what's going on in the frequency ranges so I have a I have a track here. I'm gonna just play it. I soloed one one particular track, and it's gonna show us exactly you know where the sounds are are hitting as far as these hertz here. So let's play it. Okay, so as you can see here, before I bounce this track in place, I had it on another track, and I had channel EQ, and I rolled off on the low end, and you can kind of see that here where it's not it's not really getting up past uh, past like 60 more so 80 but it's just kind of keeping those low end frequency out frequencies out and what that does is it cleans up my low end so when my kicks and my 808s come in they're not competing for this same space right and that's one of the ways i clean up my mixes is by cutting out that low end on any track that's not a kick or or an 808 or a bass sound i want to reserve that space just for my kicks and my basses so the fact that this eq um plugin allows me to see that is uh is super dope and you can even change you can change like just the view uh let's see So you can zoom out, you can zoom in. So if you really, I don't know, if you like, you just really need screen super big, you can adjust that right here. So that's super dope. You can turn the analyzer off. Um, you got an HQ mode, which I honestly don't even know what HQ does exactly. Like it doesn't, it doesn't look that different. I'm gonna have to look that up good question uh yeah and then you can uh you got processing you can kind of control you know the the processing on it here is it's visually appealing so you got you know a different color for each kind of channel here and then you can um let's see well i already rolled off on that actually no So here you can really change the the curve and everything. You just have everything you need right here, um, and it and it sounds good. Like some plugins I've used in the past, like stock plugins, it was really hard to be able to hear the change in EQ. Like Pro Tools back when I was using like Pro Tools LE8, like the stock EQ like barely did anything to help the vocals or to help the instruments. So I was always using third party plugins, but I feel like Logic does a really great job at creating great out of the box like plugins that just work and the way they integrated it in logic to just be able to double click um and open it up just really makes it easy so honestly like this is 
this is like the most used eq in my workflow just because of the convenience and the effectiveness of it so shout out to to channel eq question of the day which eq is your favorite eq to use when you're producing music let me know in the comments also this tutorial is brought to you by my urban mixing made simple course so if you want to dig deep into my mixing process and know exactly how i mix from beginning to end using the exact same stems i use um, and, and giving you an inside look on my mastering chain and the plugins that i use Go ahead, click the link in the description to grab that and use the discount code below as well so you can take a discount. Hopefully you liked the video. If you did, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.